You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. The options market can be a confusing place. Sorting through the daily avalanche of data, alerts, updates, articles, and analysis to find the most important information is an overwhelming prospect. But now you have help. Welcome to the Options News Rundown, the only program that breaks through the noise to bring you the most important news and information from the world of options. Every day we bring you the top five option stories curated by the options experts at theoptionsinsider.com, the premier source for free options information. The Options News Rundown is brought to you by Market Taker Mentoring, the leader in option trader education. Get trader education, daily trade ideas, and more with a free one-week trial of Market Taker Mentoring's Live Advantage Group Coaching Class by visiting markettaker.com slash insider. And now it's time to break through the noise. It's time for your Options News Rundown. Good morning. Today is March 12th, 2018. This is your Options News Rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli. Our first story today is from CNBC.com. U.S. Treasury yields yield little change after 313,000 jobs were added last month, and auctions are in focus. U.S. government debt yields held steady on Monday following a strong set of non-farm payrolls data released Friday. The yield on the benchmark 10-year Treasury note was little changed at 2.89% at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, while the yield on the 30-year Treasury bond was slightly lower at 3.144%. Markets around the globe traded higher Monday after a report revealed Friday that the U.S. had added 313,000 jobs in February. Despite concerns over higher interest rates, the U.S. markets rallied after the report surpassed analysts' expectations of 200,000 jobs. Elsewhere, wage growth came in below market forecasts, rising 0.1% last month and 2.6% on an annual basis. Our second story today is from CNBC.com. Asian stocks rise after U.S. markets cheer jobs data. Asian stocks got off to a strong start to the week, with regional markets closing higher on Monday. Those gains came after stock indexes stateside surged in the last session on expectation-topping U.S. jobs data. In Tokyo, the Nikkei 225 closed up 1.65%, or 354.83 points to close at 21,824 spot 03 after recording a more than 400 point gain earlier in the session. The broader topics rose 1.51% with gains seen across all of the index's 33 sectors despite developments related to a possible cronyism scandal in the country. Our third story today is from uh, Investing.com. Thomson Reuters launches Bitcoin sentiment gauge for crypto traders. Thomson Reuters Corp. is to track and analyze chatter about Bitcoin on hundreds of news and social media websites to help investors looking for an edge in trading the world's biggest cryptocurrency, the company said on Monday. A new version of its market psych indices which it runs in conjunction with Market Site Data LLC, a behavioral economics research firm, will scan over 400 websites, many specific to cryptocurrencies, to capture market moving sentiment and themes, Thomson Reuters said in the sentiment. Digging through market chatter and analyzing online sentiment has long proven popular among traders of traditional asset classes. Our fourth story today is from investing.com, and it's the top five things you know in the market today on Monday. Uh, The first we already talked about, global stocks start the week in rally mode. Uh, So the second thing is the dollar loses momentum and U.S. bond yields march higher. The U.S. dollar slipped, losing some of its recent momentum 
after the latest U.S. jobs report showed that jobs growth surged in February, recording its biggest increase in more than one and a half years, but a slowdown in wage gains pointed to only a gradual increase in inflation. This dampened expectations for four rate hikes by the Federal Reserve this year. Third thing to know is oil slips ahead of EIA monthly update on shale output. Oil prices edged lower after soaring around 3% in the last session as market players looked ahead to the U.S. Energy Information Administration's monthly update on shale oil production levels due later in the day. U.S. WTI crude futures shed 28 cents or 0.6 percent to $61.66 a barrel, while Brent futures dipped 46 cents to 0.7 percent, that is $65.03 a barrel. Fourth thing to know is Bitcoin jumps back towards the 10,000 level after last week's route. Bitcoin prices rallied back towards the 10,000 mark, bouncing back after sliding 18% last week. The world's biggest virtual currency by market cap was up around 14% uh, to $9,794.50, making a gain of around 1,100 bucks. Other major cryptocurrencies were also higher with Ethereum, uh, the world's second largest cryptocurrency by market cap, rising about 7% to $736.09. Uh, and the fifth thing to know is the next Trump economic advisor is whom? President Donald Trump is strongly considering Christopher Lydell, a former executive at Microsoft and General Motors, to succeed his departing top economic advisor, Gary Cohn, who quit last week after Trump decided to impose tariffs on steel and aluminum imports. Lydell is currently the White House's Director of Strategic Initiatives and has worked closely with Jared Kushner, the President's son-in-law and senior advisor, on efforts to streamline and update government functions. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is news you can use for today, Monday, March 12, 2018, your options news rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart and have a great week. Thank you for listening to the Options News Rundown. To learn more about these stories or any other developments from the world of options, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com, the premier source for free options information. The Options News Rundown is brought to you by Market Taker Mentoring, the leader in option trader education. Get trader education, daily trade ideas, and more with a free one-week trial of Market Taker Mentoring's Live Advantage Group Coaching Class by visiting markettaker.com slash insider. The preceding program was a production of the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, facebook.com slash theoptionsinsider, or via questions at theoptionsinsider.com.